So GFW Radio continued on and got even more ridiculous and more hilarious. But as with all things this good, nothing can last forever. And in spring of 2008, 1UP announced that it was cutting off all physical magazine content and it was all moving online. Now thankfully, all the editors of Games for Windows official magazine were integrated into 1UP and Jeff Green was made the editor-in-chief of their PC division. But as someone who'd worked in physical magazines for over 15 years at this point, it just wasn't the same. And he's quoted as saying, The web job itself, my regular job in the post magazine world, turned out to be something of a mixed bag for me. While I saw Sean and Ryan every day at the office and on the podcast, they were spun off into different directions when GFW closed. The concerns of a website, the concerns of this website, are not really my concerns at this point in my life. And so with that, in September of 2008, Jeff Green and Sean Elliott left pretty much at the same time to leave Games Enthusiast Press and move into development. And so, September 17th, 2008 was the final episode of GFW Radio. And it was our goodbye to Jeff Green and later Sean Elliott. GFW Radio, listen to our podcast, yo, yo. <laughs> I love you all. I will miss you. <laughs> I hope to see you again. Thank you for all your support over the years. It's been a pleasure. Uh, Going to miss the podcast and all the fans. And on behalf of Toxic Waste, <laughs> brought to you by the government of Pakistan. <laughs> so you know, now with so more So you cesium. know it's good. It's a hard-boiled candy. <laughs> Guaranteed 14% Here we go. strontium. Here we go. I'll see you all around. I want to see 10 seconds of this. Here we go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Don't swallow him. There was no way to know that what we were doing was going to be of any lasting importance or, or not. I mean, it was, you know, I think especially at the beginning, we were practically embarrassed and apologetic. I think if you go back and listen to the first few episodes, you can hear it, where we're just being dismissive of why we're even down there, you know, wondering if anyone is, is going to want to listen to us or not and assuming no one would. Uh, so... There was certainly, you know, there was no sense of, boy, we're on the edge of, uh, we're on the frontier of, of communication and this is going to be amazing and people are going to think about us years later. Like, there was, there was none of that. Uh, and it certainly wasn't false modesty either. It was genuine, like, we don't know what we're doing. We're doing this because we were told to. This seems kind of silly. We're all sitting around a mic, kind of embarrassed, looking at each other. We just were feeling it out as we went along. And part of the kind of jokey nature and, uh, and the laid back atmosphere that CGW Radio had was just because of that, because we were, we didn't know what else to do. So we just were joking amongst ourselves like we did all day at the magazine. So that's all we did. We took the conversations we would have just while we were sitting around trying to make the magazine. And we, we, that's what we recorded. With Ryan Scott, Anthony Gallegos, and Robert Ashley still at 1UP, they tried to make their own version of GFW Radio, which they ended up calling Land Party. And it was headed by Ryan Scott. Now, the thing that made GFW Radio so amazing was its complete lack of structure, complete lack of any outline at all. Now with Ryan Scott, who's basically an anthropomorphic Excel spreadsheet, trying to head up a podcast, it ended up being more structured and just lost all the humor and all the spirit of GFW Radio. And so it was better than nothing, but it was, it was a far cry from the show that we had all loved. Hello and welcome to our currently nebulous uh, replacement PC podcast for GFW Radio. Uh, we don't know what this podcast is or what it's called. <laughs> we really don't know anything about it at this point. But ultimately it wouldn't matter because the show only lasted three months. Right after the New Year's holiday in very early 2009, one Up was bought by UGO Entertainment, who ironically enough is now defunct. And with the buyout, UGO Entertainment fired pretty much everyone at One Up, leaving just a tiny handful of people. And so, GFW Radio, as well as pretty much every other One Up podcast, was officially dead. The only question left is, where's everybody now? I currently work at Hit Detection, which is a gaming consulting uh, firm that's made up largely of former aging game journalist and Guy Kroll, who worked at Newsweek and was one of the first uh, big kind of big name mainstream gaming columnists 
He started this firm in 2009 uh, when he was leaving journalism. And then I uh, worked with a few other people in that company, and two others actually worked at Computer Gaming World Magazine with me, George Jones and Robert Coffey. Sean Elliott left 1UP to join Irrational Games, which then became 2K Boston, which then went back to Irrational Games. And then he moved on to Arcane Studios, where he is now as a level developer on the Dishonored series. Sean Malloy left 1UP in 2008 to go work for Blizzard, where he still is today. Erin Gladstone went to work for Hewlett Packard for a while and is now working at 2K. As for Ryan Scott and Anthony Gallegos, they've had quite the adventure since GFW Radio, but I won't spoil it just yet. As one final question to Jeff Green, I had to ask, how does he see games media nowadays where, I mean, traditional magazines are pretty much completely gone. Everything is online, but the idea of long form articles, long form reviews, and the idea of the art of writing games content itself is quickly diminishing as we're seeing YouTube, video casts, and, and certainly podcasting itself becoming oftentimes the main source of content and the main source of, of information that we consume now, with people like PewDiePie earning millions of dollars from just playing and talking about games. You know, in, in the days when it was just magazines and there was no internet, the job market was that limited. You know, there were literally only whatever, like 50 positions in the world to make up the magazine staffs. So trying to break into games journal at that point was near impossible because people didn't ever want to leave those jobs because they were awesome jobs. To, to be a game journalist in the old days was super, super hard. Now it's as hard in a different way. Now it's hard because there's so much noise, right? There's, there's so much information coming out from everywhere that how do you make yourself stand out? So that's super tough. What would I do if I was 25 and started tomorrow? I mean, I would probably still could go a traditional route and trying to get in with a media group. Myself. I mean, but it's a, it's a tough one. I mean, anybody with, as you know, anybody with a microphone and, uh, and uh, recording equipment can, can do this. I think the talent kind of, uh, kind of outs itself, right? I mean, people rise to the top, usually based on, on merit. It usually happens. I don't really have one opinion or another regarding PewDiePie, and I know a lot of people diss him all the time for the quality of, of what he does, but he was in the right place at the right time. Uh, which isn't to take away from his, his, his qualifications, but sometimes it's just that. It's also just timing and luck and magic. So ends this chapter in the History of Gaming podcast for GFW Radio. As I said in part one, it's my favorite podcast ever made and still, I think, has yet to be surpassed. I mean, th there are many other hilarious off-the-wall podcasts and I enjoy them all very much, but there is just something unique, something special about GFW Radio that has never been emulated or reproduced since. And so to Jeff Green, Sean Elliott, Ryan Scott, Darren Gladstone, Sean Malloy, and Anthony Gallegos, I say thank you. Thank you for the jokes. Thank you for the hilarious stories. Thank you for the hundreds of hours of entertainment. Thank you for letting us laugh with you and just enjoy podcasting with you. And so wherever you all go in the future, I wish you Godspeed. Thank you. And that's it. That's the History of Gaming podcast for GFW Radio. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe because I'll have more issues. What? More episodes coming down the pipeline. Hopefully I'll end up hitting some of your favorite podcasts as well. Follow me on Twitter and thank you for watching. Have a nice day.